Hey my dear friends once again welcome back to the channel I am Gaurav here and that's a part 9 of this series so in today's video we're going to give the ability to rotate our player left and right okay so let's get started but first as i always say if you are new in this channel then please check out our previous videos first and also subscribe the channel don't forget to hit that bell icon it's absolutely free Okay, so let's start playing with the player movement script and open it with the visible code or a visible studio. And here's our code, looks pretty nice. So let's go all the way down in the process info function. And here, first of all, let's groom that function so that it looks nice and eco friendly. I mean, uh, user friendly. Let's create two float type variables horizon move and take that line here. And one for the vertical input float vertical move and put these variables here in the if conditions okay now that function looks pretty nice and uh, easy to understand isn't it so now let's focus on the left right rotation movement well do you know which axis we should work on if you want to give our player the ability to rotate left and right do you know yes yes it's a y-axis so let's rotate y-axis transform dot euler angle plus equal to new vector 3 and 0 0 0 okay now i'm 100 percent sure that you guys are started scratching your head because of euler angle right and you might wondering that what's euler angle stands for and now i think it's time for clarification clarification time well, we use the angle whenever we want to rotate any object in the 3D world. Okay, Euler angle, they're named after Leonard Euler. He was one of the greatest mathematicians and physicists in the 18th century who described Euler angles. So Euler angles are three values. Let's take a look. And these are the pitch, yaw, and roll. Which means so when object moves up and down movement like uh, when a plane rotate its nose to up and down motion like that okay and uh, second value is a uh, yaw yaw is like when the plane is turning side to side motion like this and the third and last one is a roll well roll is the turning motion like uh, when plane rolls on the z axis like this see okay well i hope you guys got some ideas about oil angle but if you want more information about oil angle then i'll give you unity documentation link in the description so you should check out for better clarification all right cause now we want to rotate our player left and right motions on the y axis so let's create a float type variable rotate y and here we will take horizon move and multiply with the speed and time dot fixed delta time. Remember we are using fixed update. Okay, so here we need one more thing before we will manipulate y axis. And what's that? Well, that's a math have dot smooth damp angle. And now we need one more float variable here. Current rotation, but wait, 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 wait. Now again you guys are thinking that what's the method does smooth damp angle right well i think it's another clarification time so let's get started so method dot smooth damp angle is a unity's built-in function which gradually changes an angle in a degrees towards the desired angle over the time this means that over time the motion will be smooth as the object is rotating until it reaches the desired angle well as you see when I hover mouse over this and here you can see first it takes a value in float and uh, here we will take its current position right and next one is the target position where we're trying to reach and here we take reference for current velocity this value is uh, modified by a function every time you call it and in here it takes both time means uh, how long it take time to reach desired target position and under two are overloads for now we don't really care about them but if you really want to know then i'll give you unity documentation link in the description okay 
So now you guys know that's why we are using method dot smooth damp angle. In simple words, we are using cause uh, we wanna get a smooth rotation on a y axis. Okay. So here, first we will take current rotation and then desired rotation angle, which is rotate y. And then velocity, which we are gonna create right now. Here, we create the float type variable. Actually, we want two variables, one for the rotate velocity and one for smooth rotation time. And initialize it with 0.5f. Put them here and multiply time dot fix delta time with the road smooth time. Okay, so here we got smooth y rotation value. Now put current road here because we want to rotate y axis, right? Now let's head back to the unity and let's see. Well, we aren't expecting that kind of movement, right? It should be quick rotation. Okay, so let's hop back to the script. Well, actually here we need a separate speed regulator variable. So let's create one for a speed regulator and remove serialized field from these variables. We don't want them to be visible in the inspector type. Now here we create float type variable, serialized field, private float, y speed and give it a value 100f. 100 should be fine, I think. Now hop back to the editor and let it compile and hit play button and here we got a nice and quick rotation cool well actually name y speed makes me a little confusing so i'm gonna change its name let's hop back to the script again and change its name y speed to y rotation sensitivity now that makes sense well now I think it's time to end this video and in the next video we will focus on camera movement mechanics. I know our camera just looks fine but I'm trying to make the camera to always be behind the player like any third person shooter game camera. Currently as you see here our camera just move forward and backward with the player but also we want our camera to rotate with the player's rotation. So we will do that in the next video. Till then keep learning keep practicing and I'll meet you in the further upcoming videos. Again one last thing. Subscribe the channel man is completely free there's one bright red button down there. So smash that button I know it's painful but do it cause no pain no gain. Subscribe now and see you later.